and this is Let's Talk About It. So today I am here with day four of the 25 days of my birthday. And I'm also joining in on the challenge in the doll community, the hashtag challenge. And I think it's hashtag May the 4th. I've decided to show you my astronaut themed stuffies, dolls, doll accessories, and doll clothes that I have. I went through everything I have. I think I got it all. I'm hoping I didn't miss one because I'll be very mad. So yeah, if I had anything alien, I would have put it in, but I actually don't have anything alien. I feel like I have to fix that. So the first thing I want to show you is this guy. This guy is so cute, is he not? I got him on Amazon, and if I can find all of it, you know I'm gonna try to put it down below, but I believe I got it from Amazon. I think they had a white one, they had a silver one, black one, and a pink one, and I got this one. I love pink. This is actually in the corner where I fall asleep at night. I like soft tone things by my side because if not, I will not fall asleep like a kid, like looking at my toys and getting ideas and my mind's racing. So I need something more softer, but like still toys. So most of my stuffy collections over there, my special ones that are soft toned, meaning like pinks and light purples and periwinkle. Periwinkle is like a, such a bedtime color to me and purples obviously, but like in obviously light blues, but yeah. Um, so this is so cute. I'm not sure he's soft. He's, he's a good weight. Look at him. He's so freaking adorable. He's got a gold face. And he can like stand. If you like put him against the wall, he would be able to stand up. He's got his um, like control pack on the front and then he's got his backpack on the back. And that can be taken off, I think. It's on there with a ribbon and a scrunchie. It looks like, I don't know. This, not a scrunchie, but there's like yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is, um, I don't know what to call him, it's Space Guy. So that's the first guy on my list, is a stuffy. Next is, <laughs> is my Cabbage Patch Kid. Uh, it's actually a girl under here. Can we take this off? Oh, it's such a B-I-T-C-H to take off. But look, like, she's got bangs, which is my favorite part of this doll. This is my Cabbage Patch Kid, uh, one of my prize possessions. Reason why is, I've wanted this Cabbage Patch Kid for so long. I didn't care what kind, as long as it was like the astronaut guy. And the astronaut was very expensive. I'm talking $200. You know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> so I was lucky enough to go on Facebook Marketplace for $60. So that is my Cabbage Patch Kid astronaut. <laughs> so next is uh, La La Loopsie's Dot Starlight. I don't know what she's made out of, but basically they're rag dolls that come to life and they're so cute. Um, I love them, they just made a reboot recently and this was one of the ones I got. And I love her. She sits way up high on my dolly wall because she's kind of like dolly decor. I only take her down for like videos like this. Um, it's not like, you know, she's fun to change or anything. Like she's, she's like a younger doll, but I still love these. So proud to have her in my collection. And I know Maddie's gonna be all happy to see this doll. Hi Maddie! Yeah, so this is Dot Starlight and she is perfect for my astronaut girl collection. Next is uh, Gamma Babe. So I just got Gamma Babe last Halloween, or maybe last September, I forgot. Uh, but she was so wanted by me because this was like, look at this mask. Like, if you're going to be a girl from space, this is, is like, what you want to look like. I don't even care. Like, look at her tights and all this. She's so cute. She's got purple long hair. And I'm a proud owner of her. Her makeup is all, like, silver. I don't feel like taking off her mask because it tends to, like, break on me. Because <laughs> I break everything. But, again, if you want, like, the full, um... If you want the full reviews on these dolls, I do have playlists in my playlist section that has an in-depth review on these dolls. Gamma Babe is uh, definitely one of my space girls. So next is um, one of my, I say one of, one of my wee baby Stellas. 
and it's an astronaut baby. He's a boy. Isn't he so cute? He sits on the side of my bed. Most of my astronaut stuff sits on the side of my bed because it's like nighttime, space, all that stuff. So, he has his little helmet. The helmet can come off. Ugh. Again, why would you take the helmet off? But I guess sometimes he wants to breathe. But this is what he looks like. I love wee baby Stellas. Um, I think they're like one of the cutest. I own one, two, and I think I have a third, but it might be in my store because it's like used and I don't, I like my stuff brand new. Like I like to open it like it's mine. So he's got these little silver boots. He comes with a book. And he comes with his little dog, Astro. Um, hi, this is so cute. Uh, he is just a little baby doll for like a boy or a girl. And he's got a cute little body. How cute is that? I love this guy so much. Yeah, he's, I'm definitely proud to have him. Yeah, so we baby Stella. <laughs> Next is a little baby Bobby. This is actually one of my dolls, my Blythe doll, June. This is her doll. She loves astronauts just like me. She's from that company, uh, Tiniest, Tiniest Brands in the World, Tiniest Toys. What is it again? I forgot. I have so much from them. I love it. And I actually have a couple other Bobby dolls, like little ones like this. But they're perfect for Blythe dolls. Um, because it looks like they're carrying their own Bobby doll, so she does have a helmet. Um, but because I don't want to lose it, I put it away with my like little mini like pieces because I do lose things. <laughs> and she comes with a stand, which I use the stand for something else for one of my other Bobbies. So isn't that so cute? Oh, okay. Next, why we said Blythe, <laughs> this is my Blythe carrier. Um, it's by Maybe Soul. I think that's the name of her place. See, Maybe Soul. Now, this Blythe carrier is made for a Blythe doll original. Original body, not an A-zone body, not the not not a jointed neck. She's gonna have the, the head that goes down. Because when I put the legs in here, the head doesn't fit on a fully customized doll on an A-Zone body. So it's unfortunate. This is why I don't wear it out a lot with my dolls because all my dolls have now jointed necks and A-Zone bodies or now I got no Bitsu. But the original doll that I put in here when I bought it and it fit was my Takara. But I already changed her body and gave her a neck joint so now she no longer fits in here. So, maybe like a Rainbow High doll or a doll that's a little smaller in the future. Um, I can fit in there and her, you know, hopefully the face will stay here because without it, it, the doll's head is like, I'd have to, it, it's just not doing what I wanted. Um, so, yeah, those, you know, you, you live, you learn with, with Blythe. But this thing's cool because if you go out for the day, Inside of the pack, you know, you put the doll in there. It's got like a little thing where you could put clothes and whatnot, props, stuff of yours. You know, and the hardware on here is primo, if you see. You see? It's gorgeous. This thing's awesome. I just wish I would have thought about it, like when I was changing the body and making like a longer neck. Like, obviously, it's not going to fit in here. So, but in the future, I will have a doll that will fit in here, definitely. But so cute, right? And then you put it on your back, and then she's looking at somebody like in the grocery line, like your doll's looking at somebody. Hilarious. Here we got Samantha Christone. Christa, Christa own. I don't know. She's from Italy. Anyways, um, here she is. She's so cool. Uh, she has a bigger build than uh, the regular Bobby. She's got her little gloves on in the Bobby logo over here. I think she came out on Women's Week in like celebration I think they came out with a doll and they picked her or something but totally cool and I need more Bobby astronauts in my collection there's a few out there not the ones you see right now in Target with like the softer uniform like I don't care I, I, I like to have that one but I want the one that's pink and I know you guys know what I'm talking about she's a pink one she has a pink suit but it's pink and gray and she's got this cute she's just so cute and I need her 
Next is another stuffy of mine. Um, this thing is so cute. What is the name of this company? It's called uh, Rilaka Kuma. You see this? I have no idea how to say anything. My dog got to this. See how so it's got no foot. But that's my dog. What a jerk, right? Um, but you can't see that when it's sitting, and it sits um, on the side of my bed. I. I change it up time to time because I do like it like this, but my dude's face is so squish in here. I feel like he can't breathe. You know, like, I don't know. I think the, I think the idea is cool, but I think the design is a little off, you know, like it's just, but I love it. I love it. I'm very happy I have it. I just think it was expensive for some reason. I like had to have it. It had astronauts and chickies. I love chickies. I have yellow chickies all over my room, like sporadically. Um, because I think I just like that color yellow. It reminds me of like a nursery. And I don't even know why I like nurseries. I, I'm not like Miss Mommy. I think I got him on Amazon. And when I put him back, I'm gonna leave this on because I really do love this. This is so soft, right? And it's like nice and shiny. I love it. So this is my chicky. What do they call him? It just says this. But so cute. Last year I did this challenge with Dolls Rescued and she sent me this to do a get ready with me so I could be involved because I do not have anything Star Wars. I just actually watched the movies after I got this with Ayla. We watched them together but she made me this dress, so cute. I will link the Get Ready With Me down below if you want to see it on a Blythe. And sh her shop is always linked in my description below. Anybody that gives me something to put on my doll, I link your shop below. So you can find her through there and see her tutorials on how to make stuff like this. But isn't this cute? It, these are, um, hold on. Stormtroopers. These are stormtroopers. I knew I would get it without Google. I sit in a couple minutes. I try to do it on my own. Um, so cute. Billy wore this. Billy likes this. She looks really good in this. It's because Billy has a nice rack. <laughs> Another doll accessory is a ornament at Christmas time. Target puts out ornaments that look like this. Like this is supposed to go on your tree at Christmas. <laughs> Okay, but I looked at it as my smart doll needs a dolly. So my smart doll Monday carries this around. She loves this guy and I sent one to Ayla because she loves space too. So I figured her smart dolls can use this as like a body pillow or buddy, you know, so cute. Last but not least, I saved it for the end and I think I'm gonna put her in the title so you guys know that she's here, okay? Luna. I'm not going to put Luna in here. Oh, guys, this was the one that I said I was getting right away. Reason being is she is Sunny's sister, and I love that whole concept. And if you see the back of Sunny's jacket, there is a Luna eclipse on her jacket, so I love that. She looks such like a space girl in this outfit. Does it, she, guys? Now, the other outfit is not spacey. That's why I'm not gonna show you her other outfit in this. I think I wanna redo her hair, not take these down, cause this looks like really spacey for some reason. But I think I'm gonna straighten this little weird curl and then braid it loosely while it's wet, let it sit, and then do a wave. I kinda want a wave thing going at the bottom. So that's what we're gonna do and then I'll redress her for you guys and I'll do a voiceover while I do her hair because you guys liked that video last time. You really did. I got a couple of people saying that they enjoyed watching it that way so that's what we'll do for her in her second outfit, okay guys? But Luna is cool. Her hair is wicked nice. And guys, I'm not shitting you. It actually smells good like somebody washed it already. I don't know. Everybody's complaining about her bangs. Um, there's got to be a way to fix it. Like, what if you put, like, a plastic bag over her head at night? and Wouldn't it straighten it down? I have no idea. But I love her shoes. There's socks underneath it, and people do not like this. And, yeah, like, in real life, if you were to have, like, strappy shoes on and you put socks underneath, that would look awful. But on her, it looks like a costume. 
because it looks like she's supposed to be in space. Like she's totally space girl right here. Love this outfit. Her and her are just like, do you want to go out to the bars and like meet some space dudes? She's got these tough girl gloves like, hi. And she's got her jewelry. She's got her manicure and she's got the two lip thingies over here on her lips. You see it? She's totally beautiful. I love these girls. If you put these girls in between your rainbow high girls, your rainbow high girls start to pop. I swear to you. Put her on the side of Robin Sterling and Robin Sterling will glow. I'm telling you, I've been doing it. I just have a ball with these rainbow high dolls because it's almost like you can like put them all over your room and switch them up and it's like decor because it's all colorful and you can work with the colors. You'll be like, oh, I need an orange over there with this. Do you know what I mean? I love it. I love everything about these Shadow High dolls and I cannot wait till series two. Well, I guess my, my, my wallet can wait. If I find another space related doll after this video, I'm going to be so mad, but I think that's all of it. I don't have any aliens and I don't have any um, Star Wars, unfortunately, or Star Trek. I don't have any of that stuff, but I'm sure some of you do, and I can't wait to watch your videos, guys. If you want any of these things that I mentioned, I'm going to try to find the matches below and link them, if I can, okay, guys? Also, check out the hashtag right here. I'm going to leave it to see everybody else's space-related dollies, stuffies, toys. And, guys, don't forget, tomorrow I will be back with another birthday video. So, guys, if you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.